Hey guys, I'm Hellhound, and uh, I'm afraid I have some more unfortunate news. Um, earlier this week, uh, Umberto Lindsay, one of my favorite Italian horror directors, uh, passed away. And uh, now, t t tonight, I just found out that one of my favorite musicians uh, died a couple days ago. Uh, Martin Eric Ain, um, best known as the bass player from Celtic Frost, one of my favorite bands of all time. Um, yeah, he, along with uh, you know, Thomas Gabriel Fisher, a.k.a. Tom Warrior, were pretty much the two uh, most important members in that band. Um, he played bass for them, uh, you know, uh, for several years, on and off. He left the band a few times, but I think he uh, he came back um, quite a bit. He he was in part of the final lineup, I believe. Uh, they're also in, in Hell, Hellhammer to get together, which is uh, the, you know, the previous band before they became Celtic Frost, and I think Trypticon as well, too. I th think Martin Aragain was in that, played bass for them as well. But don't quote me on that. Um, all great bands. But yeah, Celtic Frost is my favorite of the bands that they were in. Um, and I got these two albums, uh, Morbid Tales and Two Mega Theory on. Uh, what I like about Celtic Frost is, like, they don't really have a specific, uh, you know, uh, subgenre of metal. Like, they're, you know, they're extreme metal, but I've heard them labeled as first wave black metal. Uh, but mostly, like, thrash metal and speed metal. I think that's, most people consider them a thrash band, um, in addition to... A lot of people uh, say they're like proto black metal, like along with you know Venom and Bathory and uh, uh, Merciful Fate, uh, yeah, first wave black metal. But you know it doesn't matter. What uh, they're a metal band. That's all that matters, and they're very very good. Um, yeah, I guess Morbid Tales, their first release is technically an EP, but I see a lot of people refer to it as um, their debut album. There he is right there. Um, oh no, sorry, uh, Martin Eric Ain right there. Uh, yeah, the bass player, hell of a bass player too. Probably one of the best in. Uh, in metal, in uh, thrash metal, or metal in general, um, they had like a revolving uh, door lineup of uh, drummers, but it was always, always uh, Thomas Gabriel Warrior on uh, guitar and lead vocals, and usually Martin Aragain played bass, and sometimes did some, uh, a, a few vocals as well, I know in their, uh, like their latest album, Mono, uh, Monotheist, Monotheist, whatever, <laughs> was, um, I know they, uh, I know he did some vocals on that one, which was cool, in addition to playing bass. Um, yeah, there he was, right there. He is right there. Yeah, hell of a musician. Very sorry uh, to hear about his passing. Um, and my favorite album, Celtic Frost, did, Two Mega Theory on. Um, so this is either, people either consider this their second album after Morbid Tales or their debut album when, you know, some people say this is an EP. I think this was a re release. Um, the thing is, uh, Martin Eric Ain, uh, pictured here in the middle, um, I don't think he actually played on this album. I think Dominic Steiner was their bassist around this time. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's good old Thomas Gabriel Warrior. Um, but I think there's, there's, uh, this is, a a re-release, and I think there was a few bonus tracks which he did play bass on, so I guess he was, like, technically part of their lineup. Um, and I think he was in the band during the release of this album, but they already, they'd already recorded, uh, bass lines from Dominic Steiner, but there's, uh, Martin Eric Gain right there, again, yeah, hell of a bass player, uh, great musician, uh, is a very important part of Celtic Frost's sound, I'd say, you know, almost just as important as, uh, Thomas Gabriel Fisher, aka Tom Warrior, um, as I said, so, um, yeah, very sorry to hear his passing, he was only 50 years old, you know, which, uh, isn't, you know, it's st relative, it's pretty young, um, considering, and, uh, and I guess it was a heart attack that did him in. Yeah, very, very sorry to hear that. I don't, I don't know if Celtic Frost is going to get back together or not, but either way, very, very sorry to hear about the loss of um, Martin Eric. A hell of a bass player, hell of a musician, very important part of one of my favorite bands, Celtic Frost. Um, I haven't reviewed any albums by them yet, but I think I probably will. Maybe I'll review two Mega Theory on uh, in honor of uh, Martin Aragain's passing. So, um, yeah, I also heard that... Uh, Daisy Berkowitz, which was uh, one of Marilyn Manson's mini guitarists, uh, died um, recently as well. So, yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of Marilyn Manson anymore. I don't really listen to Manson much, but I used to be a huge uh, uh, hardcore Manson fan back when I was like a teenager. So, uh, well, early, early teenager anyway. Um, so, uh, so pretty, I was pretty sorry to hear about his passing as well. But, yeah, this really sucks, man. Uh, Umberto Lindsay, one of my favorite directors, and then Martin Eric Ain, one of my favorite musicians. Uh, it's definitely been a, a very uh, tragic October. I mean, I've done a lot of fun things. It's been uh, it's been great, but man, we've had, had a lot of loss. You know, Tom Petty earlier this year, then the, of course the Las Vegas shootings, which were just awful. Um, you know, a few others, there's a few other people who passed as well. Um, so yeah, very unfortunate. But um, I know I'm gonna be jamming some to some Celtic Frost in memory of Martin Eric Ain's passing, and um, I suggest you do the same if you're a fan. 
Um, and if you haven't uh, heard Celtic Frost yet, check them out for sure. You would not be disappointed. They are a great band. Uh, slight, kind of underrated. Um, and check out Hellhammer, which is kind of an early incarnation of the band. Not to be confused with the drummer from Mayhem. Uh, but yeah, Hellhammer is great. And also Triptychon. Um, those are, it's like the holy trinity of Thomas Gabriel Fisher. <laughs> His work. Um, he's, he's, he's been a lot. Of, he's had a lot of projects. A very talented man. And uh, so is Martin Eric Gaines. So, um, yeah, very... Very sorry to hear that his passing. Very sad to see him go. Uh, his legacy will live on. He's got a lot of great music. Um, he left us with a lot of great music, I should say. Um, rest in peace. Um, hi guys, I'm Hellhound. Um, long live Celtic Frost. Long live Martin Eric Ain. Alright guys, um, until next time, hopefully it'll be under less tragic circumstances. Um, keep it metal.